Brought to you in part by Cole's Food Store, the best food store in town. True Value Hardware, more than just a name, it's our way of doing business. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the teams that finished ninth and 10th in the final standings of the top 16. And the first team came in at 353 in ninth place. They bowling for Keith Nigren. They bowl at B&B &B Bowl. And the name of the team, let's hear it for West Dallas Racquetball Club. Well, the second team also came in at 353. They uh, came in in 10th place in the uh, top 16. And they bowl for the sponsor, Gene Miller at Brown Deer Lanes. Let's hear it for Gene's Cutting Service. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, from the bowling capital of the world, it's the Friday night edition of the bowling game tournament. And Thomas, every night this week has been like New Year's Eve. The first night, there were eight pins between the two. The second, ten. The third, three. Last night, one, or vice versa. Right. Three and then one, oh, yeah. yeah. Lee, we have had a total of 23 pins decide four matches here in the first four nights of the show. In fact, the uh, number one team, the number four team, number six team, and now the number seven team have all advanced into the second round. Last night on the show, Badger Precision Tool beat out Amco Metal 308 to 305 was the final score. And tonight we have our first battle of the sexes in the tournament. And I would like to congratulate Karen Miller because she did turn out to be the high lady bowler of this 10-week roll-off. Oh. Wins that living room grouping from the mark at 135th in Capital and 78th in Leighton. She is on the team tonight. She had 109 score, and let's see if she can top it. You're going to top it, right? Uh, don't tell her what happened to the fellow that had 110 last night on his previous appearance and ended up last night with a 50-something. But that doesn't mean it'll happen to you because you're a sensational bowler, Karen. Introducing two more sensational bowls, but first, money. Let's make 170 for somebody in the jackpot. John Costa and Justine Ostrander, here they are. Shake hands, ladies and gentlemen, and let's play the bowling game. It, it isn't easy, of course, coming out here being leadoff bowlers and uh, setting the pace. Yeah, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Kind of nerve-wracking. Did you think or do you feel it's easier this time than it was last because you've been through it all? Oh, much easier. It is? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, come to think of it, last time you had an 88, which means you're going to beat that. Oh, no. A little no. bit less. So Does I that's... get a 67, do I get the money? Sure. Okay. You yeah, get a 67. 67. She's going for it. I'll go for the 88, then. <laughs> What's your average? 182. Now, let's see. Uh, Mrs. Esther LaPerrier is your bowling buddy, and your previous high has been a 65. Your bowling buddy is Justine Oster... No, that's you. <laughs> Mrs. Flo Weyerman of North 58th is your bowling buddy, and your uh, average is? 179. You scared? Oh, yeah. Wish her luck? Good. Good luck. Wish him luck? Very good luck. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. High Lady Bowler this current three-week winter tournament is going to win her choice of a Jensen Ladies Lawn Jeans Wittenauer Quartz Watch. And the bowling buddy will receive the remaining fine watch from Ruprecht and Tobin Jewelers. Ray and Bob, two terrific guys at 3456 South 27th Street. Terrific jewelers, craftsmen in their trade. Nice start for John. How about them apples, huh? John Costa opens with a strike. Here's Justine, up, up, and away, but not enough. In my beautiful edge, that would be yours. Remember that song, Up, Up, and Away, by the Fifth Dimension? My Beautiful Balloon? Yeah, by yeah, the Fifth Dimension. That. Yeah, yeah. we got to think of how to adapt that for the bowling game. Up, up, and away in my what? In my beautiful bowling ball. Bowling balls can't fly, Lee. Mine do. Nice ball. All right, and this is a match that's going to be sensational because these two bowlers have averages that are just about even. 182 for John, 179 for Justine. Both teams came in tied at 353, ninth and 10th. And this is the Friday night edition of the bowling game. First round winter tournament. Second round starts Wednesday, right? Or Thursday. Uh, next Thursday night, the uh, second round show. All right, he was going for a double, but John ends up with a nine. 33 years of age, bowling for Keith Nigren, West Allis Racquetball Club, where everybody goes to have a ball. He is married, his wife is Linda, his children Johnny and Gina Marie. He's a senior systems analyst at Blue Cross Blue Shield United of Wisconsin and loves racquetball, computers, and bowling. Been bowling 27 years now with a very respectable 182. Tommy has had a 298 game. He wants us to know that Val Costa is his mother. Oh, Val's been on our show before. And she's also a good cook. 
<laughs> she brings us goodies once in a while. Does she ever? Yeah. Justine Ostrander, married to husband Ron. She's an assembler at McGarrett in Menominee Falls. Likes bowling, water skiing, horseback riding, crocheting, and knitting. Been bowling 45 years. She must be tired. Her objective in bowling is to beat her husband. Lane 59. We're Red Carpet North, and of course you know that, and our special guest will be the man that runs the place. A little bit later, we'll meet Larry Nowak, but right now we're meeting a 310 split face to face. Introduce yourself, Tom. A 310 split? Tell him you're Tom Cole. And I'm Tom Cole, you and uh, if this gentleman makes it, that little split's going to pay off with uh, two prizes. Two prizes, Lee, and that's the Kolb's gift certificate and uh, Petrol Loop. 7808 West Congress. Yeah. One pin only, is sorry to say. So that's the first uh, actual open we have. And that takes us to the bottom of the ninth. And here's Justine bowling for Mrs. Flo Weyerman of North 58th. Nice ball, Justine. And the ladies have taken the lead in the very first match. One of the four ladies teams we have in the top 16. Yeah. Well, Ian, after this now, after tonight's show, all of these bowlers have won the, the, the sweaters, but starting next Monday night, uh, all the teams that didn't have a 350 score will be bowling, so. All right, a possible 77 for John. You know what that strike means? That's a treasure chest prize. Yes, sir. Ray Ann Johnson will be out there, our lovely lady in charge, to see if we can give out some real nice ones tonight. Boy, all week long, they've been sensational prizes. I don't think we've had a bad prize given away. Well, Lee, there, there are a lot, lot of nice things in there. In fact, like we told you last night, color TV's been given away, black and white TV, uh, Osterizers, and... Come on! Oh, no. All right, 67 is as high as he can go. You know what that means. Yeah, we've given away two 67 games already this week, Lee, and going for another one from the Layton State Bank, it could be 67 bucks. All he has to do is make the spare, and he's got himself $67. Well, uh, Mel Dietering, I wonder. That's a lot of... I'll tell you, we've had a lot of 67 games given on... I'll, we Strangely, had, Mel has not called surrender yet. He has not surrendered. We've had 15 winners on that already. 15 67 games, and here's All the right. 16th winner. Figure out how much money he's given away there, will you? You're our statistician head. Double, double, no. So the most she can get is a 77 and win by 10. 1,070. No, 1,072 dollars. Wow. <laughs> wow. And Mel has given out in the 67 games. 73 is as high as she can go, so that means six pins between the two if she makes this. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to be a 59, so it's a win for the men. Eight-pin victory. We'll be right back. At Cole's Food Stores, you'll find the quality and the savings for a delicious home-cooked meal. Cole's USDA Great A Fresh Whole Frying Chicken is always tender and meaty, specially selected for plumpness and good taste. And this week, Fresh Whole Fryers are 45 cents a pound at Cole's. Also save on Wisconsin U.S. number one russet potatoes, 68 cents a 10-pound bag. Quality and savings, that's real value. At Cole's, the best food store in town. Nice, very nice. Thank you. One rehearsal, four actors, and 20 coffee cups. Around here, we don't like coffee, we love it. I look forward to my sixth cup as much as my first one. That's because my coffee's high point decaffeinated. I don't need caffeine, I'm active enough, thank you. But that's just one reason this coffee lover chooses high point. Oh, that aroma's wonderful. Just look at this deep, rich color. But you know what really matters to a coffee lover? This. Mmm. Oh, yes, deep and rich. Flavor this good has to be deep brewed into a coffee. And that's exactly what High Point does. Two minutes, Miss mm. McCall. Oh, deep brewed flavor. I think you'll really go for it. Any coffee lover would. Try High Point, the coffee lover's decaffeinated. Mmm. Oh, yes. 
Colder's Furniture purchased remaining inventory of Manitowoc's raw furniture, purchased 50% below dealer's cost. Colder is adding this furniture to their existing $2 million inventory and passing the savings to you. This out-of-business purchase lets Colder's make this weekend Milwaukee's biggest furniture event. Living room tables, lamps, accessories priced as low as some dealer's cost. Colder's entire $2 million inventory priced for additional savings. Shop early. Inventory won't last. Get more for your money. Colder's Furniture, Highway 100, Milwaukee. Beer for the best time of the day. Miller High Life. John, are you what they call a money bowler? Did you try I, for that 60s? Bet. <laughs> well, needless to say, all you needed was the spare to get it, so you did try. Let's see what we can give you. You've done a lot of good things. For example, your secret frame was right there. And Lee, John and his bowler, but you're going to receive the uh, that oil change package from North Shore Dodge, home of the big gorilla at 14th and Silver Spring. <laughs> <laughs> he works here in his spare time. The uh, ninth, you needed a strike there. Oh, let's see. And the eighth, oh no. But you got the strike on the first ball on the 10th. That brings forward Ray Ann Johnson to give you a chance at the treasure chest. Open it up, read it. And tell us what you want. Osterizer Blender. Good prize. Osterizer Blender. Thank you very much. Johnny, good to have you here. And the $67. We can't forget that. Anytime a bowler gets a 67 on the show, our good friend Mel Dietering at Leighton State Bank will give the $67. Okay? 20, 40, 4. <laughs> 27 and 4 is home. And we're also going to give out a gift certificate to the winners from Photomat. So they can go over there. There's one near them. And uh, find out why they're the leader in photo processing. Now, what are we going to talk about? Anything in particular? Oh, well, we might as well talk to him then, huh? I, I heard. Yeah, I live in America. <laughs> Makes you proud to be an American, I'll tell you. Come on over here, Justine. I'm coming. <laughs> it's nice to have you with us tonight. The eighth is where you needed a strike. Oh, that would have been good for the package of Jefferson meat. Would have been so, it is delicious. Here's where you needed a strike also. And over here you needed one also. I can't believe it. She wanted to win a trip to Las Vegas. I think you got the wrong show. We don't have those on our show. Is there a trip to Las Vegas? No. Ray Ann says no trip to Las Vegas. Put it in next year, okay? Thank you very much, Justine. And it's still closed, 67.59. And we're going to give her and all the losers a gift certificate from Exquisitely Yours, 1318 East Brady, 272-2070. The high bowler of the entire week is what right now? What's that score? Uh, I believe it is 100. That was rolled just the other night on the show, Lee. The bowler is going to receive the preserver shine from Tidy Car, Pilgrim Road, Menominee Falls. You will never have to wax again. Tidy Card West, 156 North, 8370, Pilgrim Road in the Falls. 67, 59, the men out in front, 180 in the jackpot. Introducing Ben Huth and Karen Miller. And here they are to play the bowling game. You know about her. Yeah. yeah. Last time on the show, 109. Right, she's infamous. She's infamous? Are you infamous? No. No, you're not infamous. What's your average? 144. 144. Marion Braden is your bowling buddy. You've selected Patricia Raprocki or Paprocki, one of the two of Muskego. And your average is? 180. Wow. You ready? Uh -huh. Do it. Audience, set them off. This is match number two. And we'll talk about the uh, perfect game on the show. That is six in a row. Bowler wins the use of a brand new 1983 Toyota to sell. That would be for one year. And the place is Heiser Toyota. The nice folks that are giving that away for a year. At 505 North Main Street in Thienesville, Wisconsin, Heiser Toyota and a money ball. And a double money ball during the tournament. That is a 5-6. So it would be normally $11, but Mel, during the tournament, Mel as well, $22 riding on this for Ben and his bowling buddy. All the hit songs and the performers that made them hits will be showcased on Solid Gold Countdown 82. Tonight, guests will include Olivia Newton-John, Sheena Easton, 
Rick Springfield, Hall and Oates, Lionel Richie, John Cougar, Michael McDonald, Air Supply, Ray Parker Jr. That's Boy. coming up right after us. Solid gold countdown 82. How come you're not on there? I didn't have a hit record all year. Oh, okay. The only record I had was with the Fifth Street Police. Anyway, Three's company follows at 10 tonight when Ralph, trying to impress an out-of-town friend, tells him that Chrissy is his wife. Now, you know that isn't true. Yes. And then one of your favorite stars, Wang Chung, is going to be on tonight on the late movie in Death Chamber, the story of a Shaolin temple that teaches kung fu to sons and daughters of the common people, which is against the orders of the Qing authorities. Wang see. Chung and Wang the Qing Chung and authority. Shan Mao will be in that wow. movie. I wonder if, that, if uh, Clive Van Dusen is in there, too. Tom, that's what we call our martial arts theater that's on every night. Every Friday night. I mean, night. every Friday night yeah. late, yeah. Wang Dung. Wang Chung. <laughs> Here's Ben Hugh. Come on. And another one, Lee. This is his <laughs> second in a row. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to do it until he gets it right. A 5-6 split again. Well, we don't do a lot about the sponsors. We don't uh, talk too much about them because once they come back, we have done it all one time, and that's, that's enough because we want to get them out now and let them concentrate on bowling. Nice try. So we don't do a lot of things. We want most of the time spent up there at the lane. A bowler converting the 710 of the show would win that complete Pennsylvania House bedroom set Calder's Furniture Showplace at 650 South Highway 100 Milwaukee. How about it? No? Jean uh, Miller, the sponsor, is her dad, by the way. And Beverly, their anchor bowler, is her mother. I, I thought there was a resemblance yeah. there. She's yeah. a cashier at Pick and Save and became a heroine overnight with that 109. Like space ball, skiing, traveling, bowling. Been bowling eight years, 144 average, but that night was her night. She belongs to the 600 Club, too. Yeah, she did shine that evening. Say hi to John Bonfiglio and hi to all our fellow workers at Pick and Save and Brown Deer and to her Tuesday and Friday night bowling league. Okay. Ben Huth is there, bowling for Keith Nigren, married to Geraldine Huth, has children Jason, Carey, and Ben. Production coordinator, graphic specialist at Hartwig Exhibition. Yeah. And the men come back with a very, very important strike. He's had 700, 723, 713, 703. He's a good one. Speaking of a good one, Tom and I, in the last two nights, have gone to the Mecca Convention Hall for the International Auto Show. We've been over there, and if you haven't been there yet, we're going to try to get over there again tomorrow night. We won't be there tonight, but we'll be there at 5 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. And we'd love to have you come over. We're in the Subaru exhibit, and we talk to people about bowling and give out drawings and prizes, and you'll right. find us. And uh, I know that I speak for you. I'd like to thank Don Jacobs and uh, Zimdars and Tosa Imports for inviting us down the Subaru dealers in your area, in this area. And uh, we hope to see you there tomorrow afternoon. We'll be there from 5 to 6, as he said, 5 to 6 p.m. at Mecca. Yeah, I'll tell you, Karen Miller's going for an all-spare game here, Lee Rothman. And Ben's going for a double. We need to know any more. How about it? Oh, all but the 4-7. Now that'll give him possible 58. And the way it looks, Karen will put the ladies right back in this ball game. Well, uh, it, it is just a standard procedure this week, Lee. We have had good matches every single night, and I was wrong. I should correct myself. 22 pins has decided all four matches, a total of 22 pins all week long. I would say that's a first for the tournament. I can't be sure, but I can't think of any tournament that's been closer since we started off on Monday night. Ben Huth with a possible 58. Tom, he's had 138 triplicate, 176 triplicate, 178, 202, and 222 triplicates. Oh, my gosh. That is something. In 1957, this gentleman and his son took the journal father and son championship. Brilliant. He's been bowling for a long time and loves it. Uh, 58 right here on the show tonight. Next two bowlers will be Todd Fitzgerald for the men, Donna Lenny for the ladies. Now, if Karen can get something going here, her team will be in good shape. Yes! There's a Karen Miller we remember. And now, a possible 88 would give them a 30-point lead in this particular match, and overall, they would be up by about 21 or 22. I can't remember at the moment, but it's very close. I can't see the board right now. 
Did you say hi to Mark Brager? Our, our, our illustrious director? Yeah. Yes, Mark is in the back of the control room handling things as, as always. Fix it. Not only is he a good director, but he has a 238 average in bowling. Give me a break. Or was it golf? It was one of the two. I think it was golf. Oh. 238, yeah, for nine. <laughs> Possible 78. It would be 20 pins over Ben. We shall return. In honor of Valentine's Day, McDonald's regular hamburgers are only 30 cents each. 30 cent hamburgers? I love 30 cent hamburgers. It's McDonald's Hamburger Lover's Valentine. Be my Valentine. I remember 30 cent hamburgers. 30 cent hamburgers. I remember 20 cent hamburgers. Come to McDonald's. Hamburger Lovers. For regular hamburgers, only 30 cents each. McDonald's and you. Offer good Saturday and Sunday from noon until 8 p.m. at participating McDonald's. Well, it's tax time again. If you'd like to reduce your 1982 tax payment, or if you'd like a bigger refund check, consider this. Every wage earner can take a deduction in any amount, up to $2,000. Now, that could save a great deal in taxes, whether you've been filing a long or a short form. But you must act before April 15th. First Savings IRA, a tax deduction you still have time to take. Why did all these drivers buy American Family Auto Insurance? Let's find out. Outstanding service. I like my agent. Affordable for retired people. Fast claim service. I like my agent. Good reasons to switch your auto insurance to American Family. American Family Insurance. Good rates and great service. Call an American Family agent today. See the white or yellow pages. This Valentine's Day, give your honey the Honey Bunch, or a flowering plant, or a beautiful bouquet of roses. Delivery anywhere. Just see or call your friendly florist. Anything you want to say, Ben? Uh, not as good as last time. Uh, last time in 89, not quite, but uh, she wasn't as good as last time either, right? She's all right? She is something, I'll tell you. Well, for you, the uh, secret frame was over here in the 8th. You missed it. That would have been good for the East. A gift certificate from Spheres Sporting Goods. Excellent folks who know all about sporting items, 72nd and Capital. The seventh was important, and the tenth first ball. So you didn't do so well there at all, but there'll be other prizes, and of course, it's still very close. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gentle Ben, 136, 125, and here's the lady responsible for that turnabout. Karen, it was not as easy as the 109, but this was a very important victory. It was harder this time. You're happy though, right? Well, let's see, the seventh you needed a strike here would have been the dental exam that everybody needs from Pilgrim Dental Group. They do a sensational job over there. The eighth was important and the ninth, so we can't pay off for you, but you got the ball that was important. First ball on the tenth, a strike, and that means a trip to the treasure chest. Reach in, read it, and good luck. Presto, presto popcorn popper. A popcorn popper, thank you. Congratulations in the score. Ladies in front, 136, 125. Tom, we've always talked about all the prizes for the high bowler. What do we do for the low bowler? I'll tell you, the low bowler wins a lot of prizes, Lee. First of all, we'll start off by talking about the carpet stain remover and Armstrong floor cleaner from Mitchell Street Carpets at 551 West Mitchell Street. Now, that's for the low bowler of the week. Also receives other prizes like a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. That is our third, uh, second prize that we give away to the low bowler. And we got one more. The low bowler of the week will also receive a Coogee bar, which is a <laughs> screen and storm door lock from k, k Manufacturing. In the jackpot, $190. Introducing Todd Fitzgerald and Donna Lenny. Come on, you two. <laughs> Mabel Krause of South 29th Street is your bowling buddy who would love to know your average. 144. 144. And your uh, average? 124. Or 125. Don't lose that one pin. That is important there. Donna, 61 last time. Not too bad. And Todd did not bowl. He was a sub tonight. And Mary String is your bowling buddy in Menominee Falls. So with those kind of averages, we're going to prove to the people that you're going to go out there and get a perfect game, both of you. Right. Try it and see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. 
Well, look, the four six foot of the show and with the use of a 1983 Ford Escort for one full year from Heiser Ford on the Grady side of Milwaukee. 2319 North Prospect Avenue. And uh, the bowler has to provide the insurance of that is one. But Heiser Ford is the place, and we do appreciate that. Thanks to Heiser. 190 in the jackpot right now. Three winners, by the way, this week in the jackpot, and a total of 6740 bucks so far. Well, Thomas, I'll tell you, I really mean it when I say to them and to you, averages mean nothing on this show. Now, here is Karen Miller with a 144, and she's averaging 93 in two appearances on the show. Here's a fellow with a 144 average, bowling lady with a 125 average. Look at the very unusual style he has. He's a lefty. I want you to notice next time he bowls. But you're going to see that averages mean nothing. Here's Donna Lenny for Gene's Cutting Service, Gene Miller. Married 30 years to Art Lenny. She has children Clifford, Tamara, Brian, Denise, and Mary, a coding department worker at Gentron. Where's Gentron? That name sounds real familiarly, and I, I, I don't know for sure. She likes bowling and snowmobiling. Been bowling four years now with a 125 average. Bowls once a week and says it's something to do, and that it is. <laughs> something to do in the morning, listening to Tom Cole. WMYX FM 99, 530 to 10. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate those plugs that you give me. You pay me to do that. You know I that. <laughs> no, I don't. Hold it. All right. Nice spare. Started out with a three and came back with a honey. Todd Fitzgerald, 26 up there now. He's a database analyst programmer, Blue Cross Blue Shield, born in Monona, Wisconsin. That's a suburb of our favorite place, Madison. Bowls twice a week. 144 average. Look at the ball. Wow, he fires. Watch how he attempts to spare. Watch what he does with his left arm. Or is it his right arm? Uh, you mean, well, he's a lefty, Lee, so are you talking about the ball that he's holding, or the hand that he's holding the ball in, or what? Well, watch. Okay, that's, he's a lefty. Okay, now watch what he does here. Oh, we see what I mean? It, totally very, very unusual. Around. Interesting, yeah. Very unusual. Helps him fire that ball. Look at this. Wow. Let's get Larry Nowak up here, Lawrence E, to find out what he thinks about that style of bowling. That is unique, but you know, Mark Roth has a unique style, and he makes it pay off too, so I guess yeah. it's a matter of doing the best with what you've got. In other words, you don't have to follow anybody's advice when you bowl. No, you don't, but you know, even Mark Roth starts out very differently. He ends up very conventionally, and that's what counts is how you end up, not how you start. Absolutely, and uh, where you end up in a league is important too, because you want to be in the right place, and that's why so many people come here. We're starting to get calls for next fall already. If your league, uh, a lot of our leagues are already signing contracts, and if you're interested, you're going to have to call us because there are just very few spots available on weekends and weeknights. So if your league is thinking about a new spot, we've got some exciting new programs. Now is the time to start negotiating. I was just going to say, the safest thing you could do, even though it seems so early, is to do it now and guarantee yourself a spot. It's exactly what's necessary because the spots are going fast. The scores, the way they've been, what can you say? You know, a lot of people are talking about the fact that you can have open bowling here and also have a party. Now, you explain that to those people. We do a lot of that. Some, some companies, sometimes even Girl Scout, Boy Scout groups, birthday parties, they, they, we schedule a time that you can bowl. But some use a room afterwards to have fun with. Some use the bar. It depends what happens. But if you'd like to get a group together, we can work out a program and a price. You can have fun doing a lot of things at once. And if you want to rent a hall here on the northwest side, this place is perfect. We've got two halls, one that holds up to 150, one that holds up to 350. So no matter what your size, you can just about fit you in, and we've got a price that'll work. And a phone number that works. 464-8800. Thank you, Lawrence E. You. Larry Nowak, the manager here at Red Carpet North, telling you some of the nice things that happened. We have an all-spare game going for Todd, by the way. Right there. Nice ball. Yeah. Beautiful ball. The ladies are ahead in another one of those... <laughs> Oh, one of those uh, really scary nights when you never know who's going to win to the last second. Yeah, Lee, we finally had a winner in a special prize pack. It's a super prize is one of that on that strike. Now, that's his left arm that he holds out like that and then releases it and really... He's, nice ball! He snaps and, uh, that ball down there with such force that he gets those pins scattering. And that turns out to be a lucrative frame for him also, well, which besides, we will show him. Besides a treasure chest, Lee wins something else special. Possible 87. The men need a little help right now. The ladies are doing extremely well. Remember, the team that wins stays in. The team that loses 
We give them $50 and say goodbye. All right, now 77 is possible. We've already had 167 pay off tonight. And how many have we had, did you say? Well, we have had 16 all together since Mel Dietering, the president of Leighton State Bank, decided to do this. 16 winners. We've had three this week alone. Was that the former president, Mel Dietering? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't want to get rid of Mel. No, he's, he's too valuable of that organization. He really is. Uh-oh. Well, is banking. Matter. 76 is a very fine score for a 144 bowler. Here's Donna Lenny bowling for Mary Strang of Menominee Falls, S-T-R-E-N-G. Todd Fitzgerald bowled for Mabel Krause, and she should be happy because he won a few things, including a trip to the treasure chest. Let's see if Donna can get a double right here. Looks pretty decent. Come on, Donna. Oh, a 7-10 split. Just the opposite of a double E. We got a big one, the granddaddy oh. of them all, the 7-10 split. Well, I guess the best thing in this case is to take one. You know, and interesting enough, since, you know, I like to throw statistics at you, we've had 20 of these so far in the season. And how many were made, No huh? winners. <laughs> no, oddly enough, we've had no winners on this split. we got a winner now, Jane Jeffrey in the news. Newswatch 18 with Jane Jeffrey. Good evening. A little girl born late yesterday afternoon in Green Bay is alive this evening at Children's Hospital in Milwaukee thanks to three surgeons who operated on her and put her heart back inside her body. The baby was born with a rare birth defect called ectopia cordis. The heart was outside the body. The surgeons essentially created a tube of skin into which her exposed heart was tucked. She's listed in critical condition. A huge snowstorm is battering states along the East Coast, knocking out power, closing schools, blocking highways, and sending many workers home. Up to a foot and a half of snow fell in Washington, D.C. today, virtually shutting down the government. And in Philadelphia and New York, it's a full-fledged blizzard as winds gust up to 40 miles an hour. Israeli Defense Minister Ariel Sharon resigned today, and United States officials are hoping that will give new life to President Reagan's Middle East peace plan. They're speculating that Sharon's departure will smooth the way for Jordan and the Palestine Liberation Organization to back the plan. How does your fabric softener smell? Ah, uh, nice. Ah, uh, nothing. Introducing new Unscented Bounce. Unscented Bounce doesn't leave a scent on my clothes. That I love. Regular Bounce gives me the long-lasting freshness I love. Now there are two kinds of Bounce. Both control static clean, while both leave your clothes soft and fluffy. Regular or new unscented Bounce for... Ah, uh, nice! Or... Ah, uh, nothing! Tonight in the Milwaukee area, fair, mild and humid. Lows around 20 degrees tomorrow, partly sunny and cool. Highs in the low 30s. Checking the current conditions, our humidity is 81%. The winds are from the northeast at 3 miles an hour, and the temperature is 24 degrees. I'm Jane Jeffrey for Newswatch 18. Bargains are our business at Bargain Bill. Well, you know, I went down there and they were completely sold it's out of It's your the, own uh, fault. You can't wait too long. Well, I did find... You've got to go down there almost every day. You've got to make Bargain Bills a part of your life. Well, just exactly what do they have down there now? Just listen to the pronouncer and you'll find out. Feltline snowmobile boots, $8.95 a pair. Women's famous label designer jeans, $14.99. Fashion knit leg warmers, no one touches this price, $2.99. Bargains are our business at Bargain Bill. I know where they are. 3305 West Forest Home. Let's go, Dad. It's freezing. Don't get caught with a dead battery this winter. Come to Mills Fleet Farm and save on top quality Durastart batteries. Durastart maintenance-free batteries give you up to 550 cold cranking amps of starting power. And Fleet Farm offers a six-month free replacement warranty, twice as long as many others. For dependable top quality batteries at low fleet prices, come to Mills Fleet Farm. You'll be glad you did. I'm Bill Bablich. This is the Wisconsin Supreme Court, our state's highest court. I want to serve you on this bench. I want to make sure that the laws of our state are enforced. Bill Bablich, former district attorney, lawyer, highly respected lawmaker. Bill Bablich, endorsed by your friends and neighbors, Republicans, Democrats, business and labor. Vote for justice, not special interests. Vote Bablich for Wisconsin Supreme Court.
Holders Furniture purchased remaining inventory of Manitowoc's raw furniture at 50% below dealer cost and passes savings to you. This inventory won't last. Colder's Furniture, Milwaukee. 6'6", six, six, huh? Yeah. Where is my stool? I got to talk to this man here. Oh, uh, boy, that's an excellent score. Put your team back up by 11, 201 to 190. You can applaud for him, of course. And in the seventh, that was your secret frame right here. That would have been good for the Tropic Life uh, gift certificate from the folks who have all those beautiful tropical animals and birds. Now, the eighth, you needed a strike, and oh no, the ninth also. Now, the tenth, you got the first ball in the tenth uh, as a strike, and that means a trip to the treasure chest. We also have something else for you. As soon as you take this, I'm going to give you something else that you know nothing about. Codex style like camera. There's a beautiful Kodak camera. And look at this. Right here. There is your cash frame. $18 for you and $18 for your bowling buddy. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good to have you on the show. Come on over here, and Donna. How was it this time compared to last time? I think it was worse. <laughs> well, last time you had a 61, so it's very close. Your secret frame was in the 10th. And that would have been good for the bowling party for four with beverages from any of the red carpets. But this turns out to be a winner. Have we talked about the Supreme? No, we have not, Lee. The Super, and she wins with a bowling buddy, three lines of bowling and a beverage anyway from the red carpet bowling centers and a pizza, compliments of Roseanne's Pizza. The other one was North in the Booth. eighth where you did not have a strike, so you did okay, and your team's only down by 11. You have good bowlers coming up. Yes, that's Smile. <laughs> Thank you, dear. All right. 7-10 split. We just saw a 7-10 split. Donna tried for it. But if it's ever made, tell them the good news. Oh, this prize is valued at a lot of money. That's the complete Pennsylvania House bedroom set, Calder's Furniture Showplace at 650 South Highway 100, Milwaukee. $200 in the jackpot as we introduce Bruce Coffey and Linda Brame right here. See, I got it right, didn't I? Linda, last time a 41, and you're running into a guy who had a 72. Now tell him about your average. Scare him a little. 159. 194. I heard that before. <laughs> you still want to go through with it? No. No? <laughs> Do we have a sub in the crowd? What is your average? 159. It hasn't changed? No. I thought you were going to scare him a little. Well, it's one. Tell him it used to be 220. No, I no. can't do that. Ruth Hutchinson is your bowling buddy, and yours is Myrtle Clemstein of West Bend. Yours is from West Allis, and if you're ready, make everybody proud of you because this is a very important match. Bowling well, ready, the 8-10 of the 7-9 split on the show is going to win the Ultra Kinetic Water Conditioner from Milky Water Conditioning Company at 1413 Summit Avenue in Waukesha. Do it the Milky Way, the 8-10 or 7-9. Match number four, men are up by 11 now. This is really a seesaw battle tonight. Right. Well, this has been one of those typical first week shows where a team gets up there and then loses the lead, comes back. The men have done just that now. They're in front. And Lee, we have not talked about the prize you just won. That is the Supreme Strike Packet. So we'll let them know about that a little later. Touch it. Come on, come on. Linda Brehm, B-R-E-H-M. I think yours is spelled wrong, Tom. It's B-R-E-H-M. Bowling for Jean Miller, she is single and works at Wisconsin Telephone Company. Loves cross-country skiing and sewing and golfing. Born in Colby. Hold it, hold it, oh no, that can't help the ladies too much. But it's still early. Here's Bruce Coffey going for a double. Bruce has a 194 average bowling for West Dallas Racquetball Club. Keith Nygren's place. And he is using a striker, Lee Rothman. He has a striker on his hand. Marty Oliva would be very proud. From Simar Incorporated. 49-25 was happening, and that is what a striker glove can do for you. He said the first time he used it, he rolled a 653 or something like you that. You realize that most of the high average bowlers do use them, yeah, including you. And you. I do. <laughs> you and I do. I really, that thing is, is incredible. I love it. Here's Linda. Bowls twice a week, 159 average, certainly respectable, and says bowling is something to do in the winter months. And I have to correct that and say it's something to do all year. All year round. You never can weeks. get too much bowling. It's always a challenge. Every bowling game is different, just like our show. In its million-dollar season, the bowling game is right up your alley every night from 7 to 8, and the teams on Monday will be 
Monday Night League number 11 and number 12 will be making their appearance here on the show. And another battle of the sexes it'll be. Number 11 is Pinky Electric, the men's team, versus Reppin Realty, 337, the ladies' team. They came in, in 12th place, so. Well, we'll see what happens with this ladies' team tonight. We'll know soon. About another 10 minutes or so, we'll find out. Next Bucks game will be on February 22nd, 11 days from now, against the Phoenix Suns at 8.30 on TV 18. Tom, is he throwing that new edge? Uh, like I it. believe so, and that's the ball that you use also. Yeah. So he's got your whole outfit out there. Yeah, <laughs> your striker. even the shirt. I've got a red shirt yeah. just like that, too. Yeah, I think that is the edge. I guess he went to visit Don one day just like I did and ended up owning half the store. Probably. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's fun to go in and shopping at Don's, Don Sierra's Well, he's place. got nice things. With beautiful sure bowling does. shirts and awards, too. All right, he's going along with a double and a spare. That's excellent. The men have certainly done a good job of taking the lead back. But for one brief shining moment, the ladies had it. Sounds like we're in Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> if ever I should win. Twenty-six, so we have about uh, the twenty-three pins difference here in this match. High bowler of the year, Lee, is going to receive their choice of either Noax flooring or carpeting from one of my favorite people, Dennis Council. We call him crazy very uh, affectionately and uh, he is at 551 West Mitchell Street Mitchell carpets crazy console Tom at this point the ladies are now down by over four marks yes yeah, not looking goodly this is going to become one of the most lopsided uh, victories here if this well, holds up I was going to say you can't say that yet no because we, <laughs> we've seen too many things happen here the other night we went into the last match with a 40 pin difference and they only lost by I don't know about five or six pins and <laughs> Bruce Coffey gets a treasure chest prize. He is a semi-truck driver for United Parcel. Likes water skiing, bowling, golf. Born in Milwaukee, lived here all his life. 194 average. Say hi to everyone at UPS and his folks in Milwaukee and the in-laws in Kewaskam. Okay, Bruce, my boy. Lee 10, 11 strikes tonight so far. The edge and the striker combined to make him a heck of a bowler. And that's nine, and that's a possible 89. The last two bowlers will be Rick Goliath for the men and Beverly Miller for the ladies. Well, right now, Lee, uh, Bruce with three strikes tonight and that 80 game looks like he, well, he set himself up for the high bowler of the night, the most strikes of the night. We'll have to see you so far with four match, one, one match to go. What about the flowers tonight, We'll Thomas? have to see who gets that. I'm not sure yet. Somebody either in the audience or on one of these teams will win the beautiful flowers from Nature's Nook, who put together the finest floral arrangement you have ever seen. There's sort of a hidden message in each one, wouldn't you say? Something uh, that probably. says warm or something says well, they do, congratulations. Uh, they do beautiful work in Nature's Nook. She needs it. Well, 54 is now possible, and that would be a 35-pin win for the men. That with the 11. And you can see going into the final match, the men would be up by four or more. Bruce Bold for Ruth Hutchinson, Linda Brame for Myrtle Clemstein of West Bend. So this has been an interesting evening, but right now the ladies are in trouble. We'll be right back. The most meaningful Valentine gift you can give is one that comes from your heart. So this year, choose a very special gift from True Value Hardware Stores. Coffee drinkers will welcome a Norelco Dial-A-Brew 2 with Brew Selector. And music lovers can enjoy this Sanyo AM FM radio anywhere. This Casio notebook calculator never needs batteries because it's powered by any light source. And for quick touch-ups, give a Vidal Sassoon styling kit from participating True Value hardware stores. Does your transmission need a transfusion? If you've been neglectful, now's the time to take advantage of the transmission tune-up special at All Pro Transmission. The experts at All Pro will road test your car, make band and linkage adjustments, plus change your transmission fluid and pan gasket, all for only $8.95. That's right, only $8.95, only at All Pro. So give your transmission that needed transfusion at All Pro Transmission. Two convenient locations, call today. When you dip, 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 and 
sip, sip, sip. Only Geyser's potato chips should touch those beautiful lip, lip, lips. The Yow Geyser's potato chips. Why, why, Jefferson Meets present The Magic Violin. All right, Rupert, practice. Aw, oh, Mom. Practice. When music hath not charm to soothe, something good to eat helps. Like sandwiches made with Jefferson Meats. Rupert? Okay, Mom. Jefferson turns a routine event into a magic performance. Don't settle for second fiddle. Ask your mom for Jefferson sandwiches. That's my boy. We put a symphony in your brown bag. Now you, uh, turn to Linda and say you're sorry. I'm sorry, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite a whomp in there, wasn't it, huh? Oh, I got lucky on the first shot. Well, last time you had a 72, so you went up a little bit. The ninth is where you needed a strike, however. Wouldn't you know that? That would have been the gift certificate from Fritz Dienison, the man who knows more about furniture than just about anyone. Oh, the double gets you a case of wholesome products. We shouldn't forget that. Wholesome of Waukesha. Every one of those are, is, everyone is delicious, right? We ask our English professor, everyone is delicious, right? Do I look like Webster? Webster. And the uh, Fritz Dienison gift certificate we can't give you. How about this right there, okay? And how about this right here? Right. Santa's bowling buddy Lee are going to win the Supreme Strike Package, the delicious cream chart from Rich's House of Cakes at South 27th Street. Car wash and wax and underbody flesh from Scrub It Up Car Wash 8 Milwaukee locations and the haircut and scalp treatment from Exquisitely Yours at 1380 East Brady. Reach in, don't look. Pull one out, read it. See if it's a TV. We've given a couple away. Woman's Wilson tennis racket. A ladies' tennis racket. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Just what his wife needs, he said. Okay. Linda, you said you'd like to have a sub. I suppose you still do, huh? Yes. Well, the ninth was your secret frame. Would have been beautiful stationery from the printer, the printing experts in our town. The seventh and the tenth were also important to you. But as you know, there'll be other prizes, and I hope you enjoyed it even in defeat. I did. Bye. 290, 233. It isn't hopeless. It isn't over, but it's looking a little tough for the ladies right now. Money makes it 210. And the anchor bowlers, Rick Goliath and Beverly Miller. Come on over here, you two. The proud mother of Karen. Did Karen give you any of that prize she won or any of the prizes that she shared with you? Sure, she lives at home, and I get them all. You get them all, okay. Rick, what's your average? 194. 194. 74 was your previous high, and you've had a 54. Your average, Beverly? 162. 162? Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. David Sikarski is your bowling buddy in Hales Corners. You have selected Mrs. Pat Anderson in Racine. Good luck. This is the <laughs> final match of the night. The high man, well, we're going to talk about the uh, flowers from Nature's Nook. At 16980 West National Avenue in the Berlin, they call that the uh, Pagoda. And uh, we thank Nature's Nook for that and the beautiful trophies from Don Ciardo's Personalized Champion Awards. Also want to mention the high man bowler of this current winter tournament is going to receive the man's 14 carat white gold diamond ring from the Gold Emporium at 7024 West North Avenue. That's on your uh, area, Lee Wauwatosa, the Gold Emporium. You see what's happening right now? Yeah, 4710. Don't ever tell me these things are over because if he has trouble with this, she can come right back with her 162 average. So that's an eight count. And here's Beverly. It all depends on this. If she can start off with one, maybe she can get a double or a triple. And we're not prejudiced. We just want to see the ladies come through with a good, good total. Oh, nice try. Trailer pin. Beverly Miller. For Jean's cutting service, Jean Miller is her husband. She's been married 30 years to him. And children Wayne and Cheryl, son-in-law Mark, Karen, engaged to John and Gloria, and son-in-law Dick. She's a baker at St. Catherine's School on 76th Place. Likes bowling, traveling, cruises, and slot machines. And she's going to get it. Born in Green Bay. Rick Goliath is 29, married to Mary, owns a big black dog. He's operations manager, foremost McKesson Incorporated, and loves video games, golf, and anything not outdoors. Yes! And the men are relentless in their approach tonight. What I want to know is, with these averages in the 90s for so many of these fellas, why are they down so low in the final standing? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. They just didn't, Maybe they didn't threw it, it huh? all together that night. And Oh, that was a good hit. 
Do you know that uh, she, as I said, is the mother of Karen, but said to me last time you didn't mention it, so please tell everybody. She says, I'd like to have a little of her glory. Okay. You got it, Bev. And please don't take much time with me to talk. Just send me out there and let me bowl because I'm nervous. <laughs> Say hello to Russ and Lucille Slicker and family. Well, she's bowling real well, too. That's two spares for Beverly. And uh, well, well Rick, Rick can shut the door here with a strike, Lee. You want me to tell you about Rick striking? In an ABC event, he had 11 in a row. Oh. A 700 award, 11 in a row award, various collegiate awards when he was in college. He said, why I like to bowl? Because it's just plain enjoyable. All right, well, it is enjoyable, and I'll tell you what, if he gets a spare right here, it'll be very enjoyable because he shuts the door on the ladies with a spare. With a mark. And it is all over. That's it. We're going to have to lose the ladies' team, but we don't have that many to lose either. Bottom of the night. Bowling for David Sikarski, Beverly Miller. Long. Hey, we're finally going to see a strike pin up here soon. Don't forget Monday, another battle of the sexes. Hey, that's, what is our first attempt tonight at the strike pin? Seventh one tonight coming up, or seventh this week, I should say. Looks good. <laughs> Have you thought about the flowers anymore? Give me a little clue, no hint at all. No, you're going to help me out this time, I think. Okay. I would say that uh, probably Bruce for his wife. Bruce had a terrific 89 game. That's by and large the highest of the evening. Bruce have a wife? 89 game. He's high Bruce on the has board. A wife? Just want to make sure Bruce has a wife. Yep. Do that. He's going to have a chance at the treasure chest. He's going to have a chance at a three bagger prize and a chance at a 78. So the ladies are going to have to bid us a fondue. I like fondues. <laughs> Get it? Three bagger. Pizza party for 15 and a chance to go to Sendix. Outstanding meat over there. My buddy Joe. Possible 84 for Beverly. She could actually win this, Tom. She could also get an all-spare game. She got the jackpot. That's better yet. That's what she wanted. $105 for her and $105 for her bowling buddy. And she said, I want the money. That's a nice way to end it. Since they had to leave us, it's nicer leaving us with a lot of money. We had a treasure chest prize, too. Touch it. And a five, ten, split, two prizes. She can visit the cowboy store and also Sherlow's clothing. And this is certainly makeable. But she proved she's a money bowler, saw that stripe pin first time tonight and came through with a beauty. Going for this one, but not going to get it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Save one-third to one-half and more now at Gimbel's big three-day sale. You'll find store-wide savings plus special purchases. Don't miss the big three-day sale. Hurry last day Saturday at Gimbel's. Now, the Starving Artist Group can help you change any room in your home from this to this. Or this. For one weekend only, a spectacular new collection of original oil paintings will be on sale at rock-bottom Starving Artist prices. Believe it or not, there's nothing over $39. A huge collection from talented professional artists and nothing over $39. Starving Artist Group Art Sale this Sunday only at the Holiday Inn West and Holiday Inn South, noon to 5 p.m. Absolutely nothing priced over $39. If you smoke, the following announcement could help save your life. Here's what people across America are saying about Health Break. With Health Break gum, I reduced my smoking on the very first day. I smoked for about 30 years. Health Break has a very pleasant spearmint taste. Nothing has helped me until I found out about Health Break. My druggist recommended Health Break to me. I never want to smoke again. I want to live. For your own health sake, take a Health Break today.
so you get more out of life. Your team will be back, of course. I'm really glad. I know you're glad because you uh, won a few things tonight and you want to win even more, right? That's right, all the way. They're going to leave us. Sure, you can applaud. The ladies are going to leave us with a... Uh, we're going to give them $50 to take with them, not bad. The uh, ninth, believe it or not, well, let's start off this way. The double is the case of wholesome products, and the three-bagger is going to get you two prizes. I think you probably know by now what they are. Ask Tom, ask Tom what they are. What are they, Tom? Well, first of all, that is the uh, meat certificate for he and his bowling buddy from Sendix Foods and Whitefish Bay, and the pizza party for 15 from Showbiz Pizza Place, 27 of Layton, Greenfield. And this, believe it or not, was your secret frame with all those strikes. That would have been the carpet runner for Mitchell Carpet. The eighth, that's going to be good for the super... And the seventh, you needed one there for the Supreme. So you got a lot of nice things and a chance to reach in the treasure chest. And this could be a TV. Osterizer blender. Good prize. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations. Come, Beverly, step into my office. You didn't have an open, but that isn't even the best of it. The best of it is a $210 jackpot. The only one we saw tonight, you were the money bowler, right? Right. Now you're going to give half to Karen? No, yeah, I probably would give all of it to her. This was also your secret frame. Do you realize what you're going to get? Well, Beverly's going to receive these some Bucks tickets for the last Bucks home game of the season, and that's from the Subaru dealers in Milwaukee, Don Jacobs and Tosa Imports and Zimdars. The eighth and the ninth were important to you there. You didn't get those, but we're going to let you reach in the treasure chest. And good luck. Presto Quartz Heater. A Presto Heater. You'll never be cold again. Thank you very much. Final score, 368-306. And, Tom, the high and low bowlers tonight were? Uh, we're uh, Bruce, 89, wins with his bowling buddy, the uh, oil and filler change for their domestic cars from Venus Ford on East Lane Avenue and Cudahy. Di uh, Linda was low tonight with a 43. Wins with her bowling buddy, the certificate from Nature's Nook on National Avenue to Berlin. Transmission, tune up and filter with their autos from Accurate Transmission, Milwaukee and Waukesha. And the Golden Baloney Award, a ring of Jefferson Baloney. Come on, Linda. She doesn't want to come out, but we're going to make her. On behalf of Jefferson Meat, baloney to you. Thank you. You're a good sport. Thank you very much. You're going to love it. Everybody loves the Jefferson Meat. Tom, most strikes tonight. That goes to Rick Lee, and he had four, and he wins with his bowling buddy, the uh, potted plant from Flower City at 2964 South 108th, and also the uh, Easy Up, the sit-up helper available at Kohl's. All right, the losing team gets $50 and leaves us. The winning team bowling buddies get $10 apiece, and the losing team bowling buddies get $5. The winning team bowlers have a little Miller party coming right now, six packs of Miller for the winning men. Losing team bowlers will get some delightful, delicious Jolly Good soda. Jolly Good's got it, your favorite flavor. Jolly Good. All bowlers are going to get munchy, crunchy potato chips from Geysers. Be wiser, buy Geysers. And Tom, we've decided on the flowers tonight. They will go to Bruce to give to his wife. Where's Bruce? Bruce, go on over there and pick those up and walk up and give them to your wife with a big kiss, okay? All right. Now, right after us tonight, we're going to have the Solid Gold Countdown 82, two hours of the best songs, the hit songs of 1982. Monday night, we'll see you with another Battle of the Sexes. Good night, good luck, and good bowling, everybody! The Bowling Game has been brought to you in part by True Value Hardware. More than just a name, it's our way of doing business. Cole's Food Store, the best food store in town. Say, how do you get to Martin?